March in Hastings means spring break, and not everybody can leave Hastings during these colder winter months. So today I have three special guests that are gonna help me show you how to bring some color and tasty treats into your house. Grace and I are going to make some trail mix. Do you ever have trail mix? Do you even know what that is? Oh my gosh, trail mix is crazy. So what's inside of this bowl, can you tell? Pretzels. Pretzels. So we have two cups of pretzels. And you ever, have you ever had cereal that looks like this? No. No? This is called rice checks. So what we have in our bowl is we have two cups of pretzels and then we also have two cups of rice checks. And I made it easy because they're already stirred together. I'm going to take our blue candy melts. Have you ever seen these before? This is a new exciting day for you. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna melt this in the microwave for 30 seconds and then you get to start cooking. You ready? Yeah. Okay. So what I'm gonna do, because it's a little warm, so I'm gonna dump it in here. You can be the official stirrer, and you can stir it so it, all those pretzels turn blue. And I'll let you be the boss. You get to decide when you think they look perfect. I think they look good. I think they look pretty gosh darn good too. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take them, and we're gonna pour them on our piece of wax paper. And now, your next big important job, <laughs> I know, isn't this hard work? Oh my gosh, you're like gonna be so exhausted. You're gonna need like a break. This is actually pretty easy. This is pretty, okay, good. I'm glad you're not stressed <laughs> out. <laughs> All right, so I'll slide this in front of you. So now you can take your rubber scraper and we're gonna try and spread it out all around the paper. You think it looks nice? I think it's starting to look really nice. Okay. All right, does it look beautiful to you? Then I'll trade you rubber scraper for sprinkles. Do you like <laughs> sprinkles? All right, cover it in as many sprinkles as you think look delicious. You can cover the whole gosh darn thing if you want to. I like sprinkles. I know, they are pretty delicious, and I think they make every food taste better. Somebody I know puts sprinkles on their pancakes. I don't think that's very healthy though. <laughs> no, that's not good. <laughs> no, I think you should just have maple syrup on your pancakes. Actually, or sometimes I put blueberry jam on mine. So does that look perfect and wonderful? All right, so what we're going to do is we're gonna let this sit for an hour so that our candy milk, it's nice and solid. And we made blue, but we also are going to have purple in our trail mix as well. So we're gonna make some purple and then we're gonna combine it all together. So we have our blue and we have our purple and now we have half a bag of animal crackers that are covered in frosting and it's about two cups. So you know what we should do? Yeah. We're gonna take all these delicious cookies and we're gonna snap them into two pieces. Make sense? Oh, look at this, you've got it. That way they're a little bit smaller and they're easier to grab when we have our trail mix. And more. And yeah, it's like you get double the cookies. It's even more doubly delicious. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these and we're just gonna kinda break them apart into smaller pieces and we're gonna throw them in the bowl. So if you get these big pieces, you're just gonna kinda pop them apart into smaller pieces. You have a giant, look at this, this is crazy. Oh. Into the individual ones. Ex wow, individual, that's a pretty fancy word. What kind of stuff are they teaching you in first grade? <laughs> <laughs> have you ever eaten anything like this before? No. Or is this, this, this is totally different? <laughs> it's totally strange to me. Totally strange. Are we all done with the blue? Maybe we should put some purple on the top. Should we stir it first and mix them all together and see what it looks like? Okay. So we have all of our pieces of blue in our bowl. So now I'm gonna stick in, and let's see. Ugh. <laughs> we put so much in the bowl. <laughs> oh my gosh. Here, do you wanna try stirring and see what happens? So, as you can see, it's a pretty large recipe. So what we're gonna wanna do is maybe mix it up with small batches next time, but Grace and I are having a pretty good time. Or you can use a larger bowl. <laughs> All together, you're gonna have about six cups of trail mix, and we literally have a six cup bowl here. And so it's one of those things where 
as you can see, we're busting at the seams. But we're just gonna mix these, we're gonna combine these. If it becomes easier, you can mix it with your hands. That's totally fine too. They're starting to be made at the top. They're starting to make it to the top? Yeah. So we're gonna stir to combine, and that's all it takes to make some lovely circus <laughs> trail mix. <laughs> <laughs> Now, I am super lucky because I get to cook with Julia. Thank you for helping me today. So we're going to make Funfetti Cake Fudge. Are you a fan of chocolate? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you should like this a lot. So we're gonna start, and you're gonna be my official mixer. Inside of a microwave safe bowl, I have two and a half cups of cake mix. When you make cakes, do they come out of a box or do you have a whole bunch of ingredients you put in? Um, sometimes we do it out of a box and sometimes we make it home. Oh, so you're a fancy baker at home if you make it from scratch. So I'm going to give you the rubber scraper and I'm going to add two cups of powdered sugar. Can you stir those together for me? Mm -hmm. Thank you so very much. So then we're going to mix these all together and what's going to happen is to it, I'm going to have you pour into the middle a quarter of a cup of milk. Perfect job. And then we have a stick of butter, and I cut it into four different pieces, and we're just gonna take and put one over here. Do you wanna put one back here? And then one over here? And we're gonna put one over there. And now, here is the really weird part. We're actually gonna make a cake out of what you have in that bowl. Does it look like it's ready to be a cake? <laughs> no. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it in the microwave for two minutes, and then when it comes out, we're gonna stir, stir, stir really fast. Okay, Julia, does that look like a cake? Mm -mm. No, it looks kind of weird and silly, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start stirring this together really quickly, and then I'm gonna slide two things over to you. I'm gonna slide two thirds of a cup of white chocolate chips, and if you're gonna make a fun fetty cake, don't you need some sprinkles? Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course you do. So we have a half of a cup of sprinkles. So, oh my gosh, <laughs> I'm terrible at this, aren't I? Man, you would, th look at it, now I spilled again. <laughs> I'm ridiculous. Are you a messy person in the kitchen? Or you're probably better than I am. Kind of. Kind of, sometimes. It's a good thing I have a towel to clean up. So what I would like you to do, if you would be so kind, is would you please dump in the white chocolate chips? All right, so there's two thirds of our white chocolate chips. All right, Miss Julia, would you please be willing to dump the sprinkles in? All right, so we have half a cup of sprinkles, and now, ooh, you can hear the sprinkles, can't you? All right, do we think we need more stirring, or does it look beautiful? It looks good. So what we're gonna do is we're going to dump it into the pan, and now, I was nice. It was pretty warm when it came out of the microwave. So what we're gonna do is now, it's cooled down a little bit, so we're just gonna take our fingers, and we're just gonna start pushing it into the pan. It'll be a little warm, and if your fingers get hot, you can take a little break. Do you think that looks good? Mm -hmm. All right, so you get to decide. Do we want fudge that's got lumps and bumps on the top or do we want to make it nice and smooth? Nice and smooth. Nice and, bleh, 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 nice and smooth? All right, so all I have to do is just gently pull my rubber scraper across the top. And you see how it's starting to smooth out? You want to give it a try? Just starts to flatten itself out. And now it's starting to look kind of like that funfetti design. So if you've ever had that white cake with those rainbow sprinkles mixed in, that's what we want this fudge to look like. That looks really nice. You're good at that. Have you ever made fudge before? Mm. Oh my gosh, do you make it like all the time? Mm, it's mostly at Christmas time. Oh, gotcha. What kind of fudge do you make at Christmas time? Chocolate. Ooh, you'll have to trade recipes with me. Then we can both make each other's fudge. So, do we want to leave it like that or put more sprinkles on the top? Um, put more sprinkles. More sprinkles on the top? Okie doke. So I've got just a random bowl of sprinkles. And if you want to, you can start sprinkling with me. And we'll spread them all over the top. And if you wanted to, you could use any assortment of colored sprinkles for this. It really doesn't matter. Also, sometimes sprinkles come in different shapes and you can use those too. Because we're not putting this into the oven, the sprinkles will keep their shape. So if you have some in the shapes of flowers, or I know we have some in the shape of animals. We have cow sprinkles, isn't that crazy? Have you ever seen cow sprinkles before? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, I'll have to show them to you before you go home. So we've got sprinkles on the top, and then we're gonna take our hand and just gently place it on the top and we'll push our sprinkles in. 
and then that's really all it takes to make our fudge. We'll put it into the refrigerator to set. It'll be ready in an hour, but I think it tastes the best when it's been in the refrigerator overnight. Thank you so very much for helping me, and I think we'll put this in the fridge, and then we'll see what it looks like. Okay by you? Alrighty. So Ruby is going to help me make our next recipe. And Ruby, I heard that you like to bake things. Yeah, I do. <laughs> and so what's your favorite thing to bake? Um, I really like to bake muffins. Ooh, so we're gonna make another kind of breakfast slash dessert thing together. And we're gonna make rainbow scones. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this bowl in front of you, and inside of this bowl there are two cups of flour. And I have a whisk in there, and what you can do is I'm gonna add five tablespoons of sugar, and can you whisk those together for me? Yeah. Thank you so very much, you're already an excellent assistant. And then the next thing that we're going to whisk in is two teaspoons of baking powder. Just like that, so that's perfect. I'm gonna add two thirds of a cup of milk, and you can start stirring that together. And then when it looks like it's kind of mixed together, we're actually gonna change it up a little bit. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start mixing it together with our hands. If you wanted to at home, you could do this with a pastry blender if you've got one, but we're gonna use our hands today because we're feeling brave. Mm -hmm. All right, Miss Ruby, I'll trade you a whisk for some butter. So our whisk, We'll probably have some clumps in it, so I'll pop those pieces out. It's okay if your hands get dirty, because now what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop in some different pieces of butter. Now all we need to do, and this is my favorite part actually, is start squishing with our hands, just like this. And I'm gonna keep adding in those pieces of butter, and you can keep on squishing. And we're gonna keep squishing till the butter's almost disappeared, but you can maybe kinda sorta feel it a little bit inside of your hands. So when it comes to baking, do you bake a lot all the time or just on the weekends? I bake a lot. <laughs> you bake a lot? Yeah. <laughs> well, that's good, I'm impressed. And now where you're squeezing, since it's starting to kinda come together, I'm gonna add some salt in there too, so I'm gonna sprinkle that on top. And then this is the part that's gonna start to feel kinda weird because <laughs> we are gonna add a quarter of a teaspoon of almond extract and a teaspoon of vanilla, just like that. You want your butter to be really nice and cold when you do this because that's gonna melt nicer in your oven, so that's something to keep in mind. You can pull it right out when it's time to add it in with all of your different ingredients. So we said these are rainbow scones, right? Yeah. So how do you think we're gonna turn them into rainbows? You have to put some rainbow sprinkles in. Good job, you got this figured out. And then also we're gonna flavor it with some white chocolate chips. So I'm gonna dump that in there too. And then that's really it. So we're just gonna mix and combine these together and then we're gonna get our surface ready to roll these out and we're gonna do that by lightly flouring our surface. All right, so we have Ruby's beautifully mixed dough and we are going to dump it out onto our table. I'm gonna take and push it, and we're gonna just knead it together and get it into a nice ball. And then we're gonna go half season. You'll get a piece and I'll get a piece. Okay. And then I will show you how to make the scones. We're gonna cut it in half, just like this. So we're gonna start by kneading it together into a nice little ball, just like that. Oh, look at this. Man, you're a bread maker. <laughs> well, next time we'll have to make some bread together. So now we're gonna take our hand and we're just gonna gently push it flat. And we want it to be, if you put your finger on the table where your first knuckle is, you want it to be about that thick, okay? So we'll push it like that, nice and flat. And then, this is the part that gets kind of tricky. We're gonna go smush, smush, smush on the sides, and then smush, smush, smush on the sides, and you wanna kinda turn it into a nice square. So we have our beautifully made squares, and I have decided that Ruby's looks nicer than mine. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make an X through my square. So I'm gonna take my knife, and I'm gonna push down nice and slow like this, because I wanna stay safe. And then I'm gonna cut my pieces in half like this. And then like this. And so if you're making these over spring break and it's against the rules in your house, to use a knife, make sure that you have an adult with you. So Ruby, are you a knife safe person? Yeah. Okay, then I trust you and I've got your back here. So we're gonna cut a diagonal, just like that. 
You must pay attention in math class because you know your halves. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna pick them up and we're gonna lay them on our tray. And you'll get a half and I'll get a half. And isn't that crazy? They're super easy, aren't they? Yeah. And they're gonna taste really delicious, trust me. So we're gonna put them in a 400 degree oven for 15 or 16 minutes and then we're gonna have some delicious treats. Did you ladies have a good time? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Are you pretty excited about what you made today? Yeah. <laughs> I think that you three did a wonderful job because this looks beautiful, what we have in front of us. We have our circus trail mix. We also have our Funfetti cake fudge and we have our rainbow scones. All of these recipes are gonna make for an exciting spring break, even if you are stuck in that winter Minnesota weather over spring break. So remember, the apron's optional, but, but the, the flavor, flavor isn't. isn't. I'm going in for more. Mm. You know when I was little they sold purple ketchup? What? I know, isn't that weird? Yeah. It had purple and green ketchup. Yeah. Isn't that weird? I, my mom never let us get it. I asked one time and she said, no, that's gross, you're not gonna eat it. <laughs>